Hello everyone, how are you doing? Philip here with another video. Uh, so I found this problem trying to play uh, Borderlands. So I just got the Borderlands The Handsome Collection a couple days ago uh, because it was in this ridiculous sale price and it's also a complete your collection bundle so it doesn't ignore all the stuff that you already had from Borderlands 2 and Borderlands pre-sequel. It just lets you buy the newer stuff, the stuff that you don't have at on sale as well. So pretty good buy. Uh, I bought it and I was uh, asking a couple of friends to uh, play with me. And I managed to, I'm playing on Windows, and I managed to connect with other friends playing on Windows. But when I tried to connect with someone playing on Mac, it wouldn't work. It would give me a, a connection timeout when I was trying to connect or unable to connect to host. And then when they were trying to connect to me, they would say that they wouldn't even get any error whatsoever. It would, they would just go back to the menu. So we looked pretty weird. I tried with a friend that had Linux and we had the same issue. So then they were able to connect to each other. Like the Mac and Linux user, they were able to connect each other fine. But they couldn't connect with the Windows people. So I looked up on the internet uh, if this is known or not. And it's a, it's a known issue. It's been around uh, for two months now. Uh, the day that I'm recording right now is on 10th of June 2019. So there was this update a couple months ago where they updated the Windows version. Uh, preparing it for a few DLCs that were about to come out and they didn't update uh, the Mac and Linux version because they need to do some changes and it's not the same company. They delegate to another company which is Aspir uh, and for some reason they're having troubles uh, doing this update and it hasn't been released for the Mac and Linux version. So the only way that you can synchronize cross-play between uh, both uh, the Windows and Mac slash Linux versions are if you downgrade your Windows version to uh, the previous version that is the same one that Mac and Linux is using. And the only difference right now, at least in Borderlands pre-sequel, is the high-definition textures. Um, so... I'm gonna do this. This uh, I'm gonna tell you guys this guide for pre sequels in particular, but Borderlands 2 is also explained here. So if you're having this issue with Borderlands 2, just follow this guide. I'm gonna put this link on the description below on the video so you guys can click it and check it. But I'm gonna walk you through step by step what you're supposed to do. So the first thing you need to do is uh, close Steam if you have it open. Make sure you close it. I already closed it, so I don't need to do it. Make sure that there is no icon lying around uh, down here. Uh, close everything completely um, yeah and what you want to do is launch Steam on console mode to do that you go to properties here I'm going to do this again slowly uh, you right click on your icon of Steam launcher and you go to properties and here on the target you're supposed to add a minus console to the end you give a little space and then minus console uh, this will say that uh, you're giving the argument that you're passing the argument minus console to the executable. So the executable will auto detect minus console and launch Steam in the console mode. And what the console mode is, is just an extra tab where you can type stuff, which you, normal user doesn't need the console mode for anything. It's mostly for developers or people who are trying to debug some stuff. You see the extra tab right here on the middle. So if you click on it, you have this little thing and whenever you do some task, it will give you some logs here sometimes and what you can use this for is to copy paste this uh, part download depot uh, 26164 blah 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 this is for borderlands the pre-sequel for the borderlands 2 you have a similar version here and you type it here and you press enter and you see nothing happens, but it's set to download this depot. Downloading depot, blah, 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 two gigabytes and seven and 756 and 53 megabytes. Um, you don't see any status updating. It will only give you a message when it's done, but you can follow it. If you go to library downloads, you will see that it's currently downloading one megabyte and there's nothing queued. Not having anything queued is perfectly normal but it's downloading the Borderlands older version. And actually these numbers, they refer to it, uh, the, the, the version, like the 261640 is the ID of the game itself. If you go to your games and you go to the store page of Borderlands pre-sequel, you see up here 261640. So that's how you know what game it's referring to. 
Anyways, it's downloading this uh, right now. It takes a little while, depends on your connection, how fast the servers are. Once it's done, it will it will um, it will give you a little message here. And what you need to do to activate the the previous version is that you need to go to um, well, first you need to go to the directory, which is uh, properties uh, update. No local files on, on local files. You can click this uh, browse local files, which will take you to the directory where you have your your uh, game installed. Uh, one thing you need to make sure is also to uncheck this uh, Borderlands 2 HD texture pack. So make sure you uncheck this one. You can leave the other ones activated. That's fine. But this one in particular, you need to uncheck. And for Borderlands 2, I believe it's the same thing because it's the only pack that doesn't work on this older version. Uh, for Borderlands 2, there might be another DLC, the one that makes the bridge with Borderlands 3. You also probably have to remove that one. It doesn't work for now. There are some additional steps on the guide for the DLCs of Borderlands 2. If you have some difficulty, go there. But I'm going to carry on the video just talking about the pre-sequel because it was the one I tested. So once you do this, uh, you have this directory. This is the directory where you have your game installed right now on your computer. And what you want to do is to copy the old version on top of your current version. So I'm going to copy this URL so I don't lose it. I'm going to open another window. It can be whatever I want this. So now I have two versions right now. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put the other one there. So um, what I want to do is uh, first I'm, I copied everything that was here into a directory that I created called old just to make my own personal backup of it. And then I went to Steam Apps, to Floors Down. You can see here my mouse. And here you have a directory called Content. And on Content is where your, your, the stuff that is being downloaded from that console thing is stored. So if you go here, you have App to 6164, you have the depot number here, and you go here and all the stuff is being downloaded here. So once uh, this process is done of downloading, once you see that this is 0% and it's 2,700, whatever the, the, the number was, 2,753 megabytes, whenever this is done downloading completely, um, you will have the full game there and only then can you copy those files. So what you do is that you go here to this directory uh, where you download everything, you select everything, you right click, you copy, and then you go to the other directory and you just paste and you replace whatever file that needs to be replaced you already did a backup on the underscore old uh, backup so there's no problem of losing anything and once you've done this you're you're good just uh, actually you're not good you need to go to uh what is it it's on it's on it's on the Steam Apps folder. Yeah, here. On the root Steam, Steam Apps, you need to go to App Manifest of the ID of your game that you're currently opening. It's uh, 261640. I'm going to show it here on Notepad. You can open it on normal Notepad. Any text editor will do. I use Notepad++. doesn't matter. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't have um, updates, automatic updates going on. So... Uh, the auto update behavior needs to be one instead of uh, zero. And there was another thing that we were supposed to check, which is to check if something is a four. What is that? Let me check here real quick. Um, state flags. If I was, yeah, it's here. It's already four. So make sure that this number is four. I don't know what hell that means but you need to make sure that it's for. So save this update and that's it. It's already applied. With one, you say that you don't want any updates being happening auto automatically, which is important because it might try to update you to the latest version again and ruin uh, the re uh, rollback that you did on the version. And then you just launch the program as usually you can launch it from Steam, from your uh, store here, just hit play and it should hopefully work. And uh, yeah, and then you can connect with your friends 
uh, that are on Mac and Linux and not just Windows. So yeah, I hope this uh, video was useful. Um, let me know what you think on your comments below. If you have any problems, also refer back to this guide. Also, the Aspid uh, Discord was very active with people posting uh, other uh, ways to circumvent this problem. Um, so we can also check that uh, if you don't know how to find it, just probably typing Aspir Discord should be able to. Let's see. Yeah, so Aspir Media Discord, just go there. Uh, it's public, so you can just see what other people have been posting there regarding this issue. And hopefully a patch will come out soon. It should be coming out any any day now, but they didn't give any ETA, so who knows. Um, so yeah, that's everything. Hope this was useful. Uh, if you liked the video, if it was useful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe, all that jazz. If you'd like to support some other uh, video content that I do, please go to patreon.com slash psenough and uh, check out the stuff that I've been doing with my life that if you find useful, you should uh, support me for doing it. So see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.